In the last video, you saw the first of the three types of venue magic fixture effects, the built-in effect. The second type is the chaser effect. The chaser effect does what you might expect. It makes a whole bunch of lights chase each other in an ordered sequence. As you can see, we still have our project from the last video. Let's start by creating a new project by selecting File, New, Project. Like all new projects, ours starts with a single timeline with two tracks in it, an audio track and a fixture control track. Now select Devices, Fixtures, and you'll see that our fixtures and DMX assignments have also been erased. Since we're working with chasers now, we'll need more lights in order to get the full effect. A generic 10-channel dimmer should do fine. Now, add the new fixture to the control track and to the lamp preview window. Now open the fixture effects folder in the project window and find the chaser effect. You'll find it at the bottom, just above the level control effect. Now drag it onto the control track and size the clip so it's about 10 seconds long. Now double click on the chaser effect and click on the setup tab. In this list, you will find 100 or so pre-programmed chasers. They are sorted by, first, the number of lamps in the sequence, and second, the number of beats in the sequence. We'll select a four-lamp sequence with four beats. To the right of the list is a preview of how the sequence will look with the ten lamps that are in the track. The speed slider lets you set the speed of the chaser. We'll set it to 300 beats per minute. The other setting you see here will be discussed later, but feel free to click on help if you're impatient. Now click play and you can see how it looks. As you can see, we've created a nice chase sequence four beats long that repeats every four lights. So just for fun, I'm going to click this button, which will make the timeline automatically repeat at the end of playback. You may have to make small adjustments in the length of the clip to make it line up right when it goes back to the beginning of the loop. We actually got lucky with our chaser clip because all of the lamps are clearly sequenced in order. But this is not always the case. Here's an example of a chaser that wasn't so lucky, and you can see that the lights are definitely flashing out of sequence. There are a number of reasons why this can happen, which I'm not going to discuss. Instead, let's see how to fix it. Double click on the chaser clip again to see the channel order tab. The list on the left is divided into two columns. In this column are all the channels in your track that the chaser is controlling. This column shows the chaser sequence number, where the letter A, B, C, or D corresponds to the lamp number in the sequence and the number 1, 2, 3, or 4 corresponds to the beat in the sequence. These sequence numbers together correspond to the sequence labels in the Setup tab. To get the lights to flash in the right order, you need to click, drag, and move the chaser channels into the right order. It would be great if you programmed DMX addresses for each channel in the order you wanted the lights to flash. If this is the case, all you need to do is click Reorder by DMX address and you're all done. If there are any channels in this list that you don't want to flash at all, drag them over to the Excluded Channels list. Now that you know how to set up a chaser, you can go back and try other chaser sequences to get a better idea of how they behave. Another nice thing chasers can do is automatically sync to the beat of a music in an audio track. I'll leave it as an exercise for you to figure out how to do that. Here's a hint. Go back to the Setup tab in the Lamp Chaser Properties window and press F1 on your keyboard. While you're at it, you might take a look into what you can do with the Beat Tapper as well.